Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. So good to see so many of you last Sunday at church in this new season of Epiphany. And as you heard on Sunday, and I'll say again today, we've entered this season. Epiphany means manifestation or appearance that the grace of God in Jesus Christ made himself known to us and appeared to us. And that grace is still at work in our lives today. There's all sorts of reasons to look around at circumstances and say, isn't the world awful or isn't my life in shambles or difficult? But it, it really does take spiritual insight to look and see how God's grace is still present with us and showing up. And as we look for that and focus on that, it brings us encouragement. It helps us stand firm and stand fast. So this is a great opportunity for us to hear about that. Each Sunday, we're gonna hear testimonies from folks in our congregation of how God has been meeting them in this difficult past year, 2020, but also sustaining us going forward. So what a great opportunity to be reminded. Secondly, we have the Alpha course beginning this Thursday night. Hope that you will sign up. It's not too late to register. It's a great course on the basics of the Christian faith. Who is this amazing person, Jesus Christ? And what does his life and his teaching and his ways and his words have to do with my life? And what do I believe or think about these things? How do I know God? So we would encourage you to come and to invite friends and neighbors and families. It's an online course, so people from outside of here can join as well. And we'd love to have many people on that call. We've already got our great sign up going. So that's Thursday night, January 14th at 7 p.m. You can follow the link to, to, to connect with that. Um, we have this Sunday night, our annual parish meeting. So it's for the membership of this church. It's a Zoom call. And we're going to do three things. We're going to hear about the new slate of vestry members that we ask your affirmation for. And that is Lou Ann Arrington, Beth McQuaid, Sarah Hocutt, and Adam Hubert. And then we're going to present to you the budget so you understand how the vestry is stewarding the resources that many of us provide to see this place go forward and move and work. And so it'll be exciting to see our budget and how God has provided for us in the last year. And then lastly, we'll get to hear about our phase two purchase, the purchase of the additional 7.8 acres of land and all that is happening to make this possible. It'll be really exciting. And I actually have a drawing of some futuristic thinking out here on the park and the farm for you to see as well. And we have the table magazine. Um, we mail this magazine to the membership of our church and we make it available for everyone else. This is a quarterly opportunity for us to think deeply and talk robustly about some of the things happening here, some of the things happening in our culture. And so we commend this to you. All you have to do is come inside to the church on Sunday and pick one of these up. Uh, if you don't get it mailed to you. But this is a great work and we love getting this and this is so well done, so I commend it to you. Um, last announcement is on February 7th is World Mission Sunday, February 7th, 2021. And it's a yearly reminder and celebration that we are a part of God's church going everywhere in every direction. And in fact, that day at 1 p.m. at the Sudanese service, there's a couple coming over who are from Christ Church Winston-Salem, and we're gonna commission them as they're gonna leave here and move to Sudan and work as full-time missionaries. So it's amazing to see how God is working and moving and drawing and calling folks to serve his kingdom all over the world, and we wanna celebrate that. I do hope that you have a wonderful weekend. We pray God's best and his blessings upon you, and we'll see you Sunday. Take care.